Hi, and welcome to my new channel Twin Peaknets. Today I prepared a tutorial for this super easy headband which is perfect for beginners. It's made only of knit and purl stitches and it's a follow along tutorial so even a complete beginner will be able to finish the project. Uh, you can either make this thinner one as you can see the pink one or a little bit thicker one. I will be making the thicker version today with the mustard color yarn. Okay, so let's get started. So all you will be needing for this tutorial is yarn. I'm using Everyday Big from Himalaya. I will leave a link in the description box below so that you can take a look which yarn it is and if you don't have exactly this brand you can choose something similar or of a similar size. Then you need knitting needles. I'm using size 6. If you're a complete beginner and you're going to buy new needles, maybe I would suggest the bamboo ones because these ones can be a little bit slippery, but it's completely optional. And then you will need a tapestry needle to finish everything off. So find the ending of your yarn and we will be leaving a long tail and using the long tail cast on technique. I would say so it's leaving about 75 centimeters. And for the first loop I have a pretty specific technique. Some people prefer to use a needle for it. You can check out some other tutorials but this is how I do it. You just make a loop, go under and pull through. You know you did it right if you can just simply pull the loop out again like this. So one more time, over, then under with the yarn, and pull through. Once you have your first loop, you insert one of your needles, and the top yarn should be the short end, and the front yarn is the one that is attached to the rest of the ball. Now for casting on, the one that is attached to your yarn will go around your thumb, the long tail around your index finger and you go under, over and back through the loop on your thumb and pull. So once again, under, over and pull through. Tighten. Okay, and we will be repeating this until we have 19 loops all together on our needle. And I recommend double checking because you wouldn't believe how many times I used the wrong number of loops even though I was counting, so better safe than sorry. So now that you have your cast on loops, you will turn the work around and we will start with the pattern. So our first stitch is going to be a knit stitch. So you insert your needle, go round, and pull through. The next stitch is a purl stitch, so move your yarn to the front, put in your needle from the side, and again pull through. And back to a knit stitch. And purl. And this is basically the pattern. You will be just uh, interchanging knit and purl stitches, which will make the nice ribbing and make it flexible. You do this across the whole uh, work, except for the very last stitch, where we will only use a slip stitch in order to make a nice edge. I will show you that once we get to the end of this row.
Okay, so we finish off with our last few stitches, knit and purl. I'm just double checking if I have the right amount of stitches again. It should be 19 altogether. So right now you have 18 on your needle. And the very last one, you put the yarn in front, insert your needle, and just pull over. You don't knit or purl, just slip stitch. Okay, so that was your first row. Turn the work around, and let's get started on the second one. This time, you will be starting with a purl stitch. Before we started with knit, but on the wrong side, we will be always starting with a purl stitch. And the rest is the same. You will be just uh, alternating between purls, and knits all the way to the end except for the very last stitch on your needles. Okay, so and here we are at the end of the second row. Again, don't forget just to slip stitch the very last stitch and turn your work around. On the other side, on the right side of the work, we will be starting with a knit stitch again. And basically we'll continue like this uh, throughout your whole work. If by any chance you get lost, you can just take a look at the work. If it makes this little V shape, then it's a knit stitch. If it has this line across, then it's a purl stitch. So this is what your work should start looking like after the third row. And now you will continue on until you have about 50 centimeters in total. All you need to remember is on the right side, always start with the knit stitch first and slip stitch the last one and put your arm around. Then when you turn your work over, start with a purl stitch first. And again, don't forget the last loop is just a slip stitch. So I'm doing about 50 centimeters long. You can measure it to fit your head, but don't forget you need a little bit extra because we will be sewing the ends together. So don't make it super tight. Okay, and here I am with my finished 50 centimeters after watching two episodes of Lucifer. By the way, if you haven't seen the new season, I really recommend it. And now we will be casting off. So for casting off, we will be following the pattern. So this time we're starting, it's on the wrong side, so with a purl stitch. Sorry, I'm a bit off camera here, but you get the point. The next one is a knit stitch again. And now that you have two loops on your new needle, take the back one and pull it over the front one. Then continue with your pattern. So a purl stitch. And now again you have two. So repeat as before. Back stitch over front stitch. So that you have again only one. And you will be repeating this for the whole row. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row after casting off. You have the only very last stitch on your needle. And now what you will do is cut the yarn, leave a little bit longer end because we will need it to sew the ends together, and pull through and tighten. Okay, and the last thing we have to do is sew the ends together to make that nice twist. You can use a tapestry needle, but I lost my bigger needles and so I will be using a hook, which is also a valid option. Okay, so what you will be doing is you take the two ends, 
take a look which is the front side of your work and which is the back side. We will be sewing them together with the back side outwards, if that makes sense, because then we will flip it in the end and the right side will be out and you won't see the stitching. So you take the two ends and you insert them like this. You kind of stack them on each other. And try to do it so that it's kind of even, like a sandwich. So nicely like this. And now what you will be doing is sewing through all four of these layers and sewing them tightly together. So as I said, you could use needles, which is easier. I will be using a hook, which is also possible. So I go through all four layers. And pull the yarn through. again all through four layers and pull yarn through and you will do this for the whole part and weave your ends in at the very end until it's all sewn together and it looks like this so now the magic starts you flip it and ta-da! Here is your finished headband. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know in the comments below how it went. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can give a thumbs up or subscribe. And if you'd like to help me out buying more yarn for making videos in the future, you can buy me a virtual coffee in the link in the description box below. Thanks for joining me and see you next time!